Hello everyone and welcome to Toolbox Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to talk about lavender essential oil, which is one of the things in your toolbox. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the who, what, when, where, and why. The last time that we talked, um, I talked a lot about essential oils, right? Essential oil use and how you can safely use them and implement them. So we're going to talk a little bit about one of our favorite essential oils to use, okay? And this is why we've chosen this to fill our toolbox and be the first one. Um, and it is lavender essential oil. So who should be using this? If you enjoy florals or herbaceous kind of woody scent, this one is for you, okay? Remember, if you've ever walked past lavender, those really beautiful purple long stems, they only last for two weeks. Um, super, super, smelling beautifully but only two weeks so um, if you can catch them or if you have them in your garden that essence is that aromatic compound that is the essential oil okay so if you like science and clinical trials then this essential oil is for you as well okay we're still hanging out at the who um, you should love this because it is one of the most tested essential oils out there I was actually the first essential oil that was ever discovered um, and listen, winter is coming, right? Isolation starts to feel, you know, it starts to set in, right? We, we, are, we have an increase in anxious feelings. This can be a great tool, okay? So if any of those things fit you, you should be using essential oil of lavender, all right? Um, what is it, right? So the essential oil is actually steam distilled from its flowers and it is a top middle note, okay? So um, when aromatherapists and chemists are identifying that, that's what the note is. Um, when should you use essential oils, you know, or lavender essential oil? And the answer is really you can use it any time. Typically what we see is in the evening, right? Because this is a time when we wanna calm. Um, I, I, I know a lot of times that when I am, uh, you know, kind of supposed to be winding down for the evening, that's when my thoughts just go crazy, um, right? So I'm thinking about all of the things that happened throughout the day. Maybe I'm thinking about all the things that didn't happen or what could happen, right? So those anxious feelings we've talked about in the past are typically worries of things that aren't real um, or haven't happened, right? So we typically are worrying about those things. So lavender can be a great tool for you to use and simply and simply used, right? So there's not a lot of application issues here. Um, you can simply, simply take the bottle and just smell it, um, right? It's gonna ignite that limbic system and start affecting your brain in 22 seconds. Um, so this is a really great thing to use. When should you use this? Again, in the evening, when you feel like those anxious feelings are coming on, or um, sort of to be proactive. Uh, Dr. Stelter and I always are talking about being proactive as opposed to reactive. If you've identified triggers that you know are going to set you into a, you know, an anxious thought or a panic attack or something of that nature, grab that bottle of lavender. Uh, be proactive, right? Start sniffing it right away or put it on pulse points right away to help to prevent going there, all right? Where can you use this? And I guess this is a two-sided question when we're talking about essential oils because you could be anywhere, right? You can use these anywhere. There's no law that says you can't use them somewhere, right? So if you're in the store, pull it out of your purse and sniff it, pull it out of your pocket when you're driving. Um, you know, a lot of times we can get pretty anxious feelings when we're driving a car. Uh, this can be something that can be just sitting in a, you know, in your car so that you can use it. Um, and the other places where, where would you use it? Um, behind the ears, on pulse points, right? Or just simply take a sniff of it. Um, why would you use this? The really important reason why you would use this is because of the chemical constituent called linalool. Linalool is something that has been studied for a long time. And some of the therapeutic benefits it shows is calming of that central nervous system, right? Reducing anxious feelings, even promoting uh, less depressive feelings. Um, the lavender essential oil doesn't have any known precautions, although if you are going to use it topically, we always recommend that you use a carrier oil, right? Fractionated coconut oil, 
or coconut oil itself, right? Anything that's lipid soluble, vitamin E, jojoba, almond oil, and always do a safety test on your skin, just a little patch test to make sure that you don't have any sensitivity to that specific oil um, because then you can use something else. One of the great benefits to using essential oils is that if you don't like a particular smell or you don't like a particular oil, there are other essential oils that have similar therapeutic benefit with a completely different smell. So this is really something that you can make just for you, right? So lavender is extremely uh, kind of soft, woody smell, um, can be used for a variety of different things. Be proactive, right? Use this as an opportunity to try something new, right? The toolbox is fantastic for trying some new things, you know, taking care of you or taking care of your loved one, right? We are going to use this as an opportunity to keep our brains young and healthy. So I thank you so much for joining me for, uh, for uh, Toolbox Tuesday. And I am going to, in the comments, put uh, the link for Fill My Toolbox so you can check out um, our toolbox and different uh, aspects about it and why you should be uh, subscribing to it. Have a wonderful day.